Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Carrington. If you enjoy anything makeup related or book related, this is definitely going to be the channel for you. So make sure that you have subscribed, click the little bell so you can be notified of all my future uploads. Don't forget if you enjoy this type of content to make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And let's go ahead and let's dive on into today's video, which is I bought the Melt Cosmetics, not all of it. I bought three things from the Milk Cosmetics Halloween Town collection in order to complete and get this look. Let me know what you guys think down below. So if you guys are excited to see what the products are, what I think, how we got this look, then definitely keep on watching. Let's go ahead. Let's dive on into just like talking about the packaging and everything else that comes with this collection. So first and foremost, one thing that you're going to notice on the packaging is that all of it is really slanted. And that is going to be the same for all the products. Again, I don't have any of the lip products. I didn't get the mirror or like the makeup bag. Um, the lip products were already sold out. The mirror and the makeup bag are just not something that I personally wanted. I have enough mirrors that I can't even fit all of them in an area. And makeup bags, I don't travel a whole lot where I need a makeup bag. So it would just be in a drawer anyways, but it just all kind of slants. And the same is true for like the palette. Um, the palette's really cute. It has Oogie Boogie on there. It switches. Um, and I really like that. And then you open it up and it has a really nice size mirror. And then you have kind of two color stories. You could really kind of go with the mattes, which if you're somebody who you don't really want to spend a lot of time trying to have to like think and guess to yourself, what look do I want to do? This kind of helps you. So you have like more of like blues over here and then you have purples and then you have quite a few different shimmers in there for you to choose from to go with either one of those looks. Of course, you can always mix and match the purples and the blues. But if you're somebody where you really like monochromatic or you don't want to have to mix the purple with the blues, you just want enough to do a blue look, you want enough to do a purple look, this palette has that and they do have some different colored shimmers so you can kind of switch it up a bit if you want. The next one is going to be the eyeliner. I got the matte one. I did have the option to get the one that was a little bit more um, sparkly. I don't really care for sparkly eyeliners uh, for myself personally. So I did go ahead and I got the matte one. The packaging is really cute on this as well. It's really nice and it is orange. And then you have, there we go, like a little design with like Sally's different body parts all over it. I don't know. Then the next one is going to be this highlighter, which I think is really super cute. Um, the front of it is really pretty. You've got like the silhouette of Halloween Town. And then you open it up. This does seem like this is going to be really, really dark for potentially my skin tone. Um, maybe not. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, but it's also really, really glittery. It does have kind of like a pink to an orange type of shift in it. But I think that's going to be so fun, so pretty. I just want to say this with Melt Cosmetics, um, especially their eyeshadow formula. I was going through my collection not that long ago to try to like pick palettes for the 20 palettes of fall that I would recommend. Um, I'll link that video down below. But I was like, oh, you know what? I think I should add the Gemini and Gemini 2. I opened those up and in the shimmers, there was white mold growing in it. And the crazy part is it's less than a year old. The palette was less than a year old. So I was just like freaking out about it. And so I had posted in a group and everybody was like, oh, Melt has a lot of issues with that, especially if you use, use like fingers or brushes with setting spray to get your shimmers. And I am like a finger queen when it comes to putting on shimmers and I have never had issues with any other palettes. There are palettes I have had that are like five years old that still perform fantastically no mold no issues so i was going around on youtube and apparently this is an issue that mel has with their products it's just it is what it is so i don't i'm really nervous to do swatches just because i want to try to preserve the life of my palette for as long as possible especially with how cute this is but alas that'll be fine all right so let's go ahead and we'll just start diving right on into the look Starting off with the eye look, I have you zoomed in. I went ahead and I primed my eyes with the Colored Rain um, base that's in the shade white just to hopefully give us a little bit more pigmentation. So I'm going to start off. I am going to do a little bit of mixing of the colors, but we'll see how much I do. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start off with the shade right here called My Bugs, 
which is one of my like favorite scenes at the end when they unravel Oogie Boogie and he just sits there and screams, my bugs, my bugs. I don't know why I love that scene as, as much as I do. But I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start by packing this in the areas. I would like to lay the most color down and then after I've got it good and packed on there, I'm just gonna then just kinda start working on blending this out into the transition type tone. And you may have to do this a couple of different times to build it up to the level and the intensity that you want, but that's gonna be fine. So far though, it's really um, pigmented And it's blending really easily. I'm not having any issues with it blending at all whatsoever. I feel like it's diffusing really nice, um, especially because as I, I packed it down and then blended it out, but I still feel like the color is blending nicely and I'm not really having any issues with it at all whatsoever. It's really nice and really light, but then again, I also didn't really like pick up a ton, a ton of product. And then again, as I want to add more, I'm just gonna add more, but this is layering really nicely. I'm not having any issues at all whatsoever with it sticking to just one spot and not wanting to blend. Um, so I would say this is a really good, this shade right here is a really good shade. And this one is the My Bugs shade. Again, cause that's a good part of this. My Bugs, My Bugs. Oh, poor thing. Well, it is what it is. Next for the more of like the crease area, I'm gonna move on into the shade called Bone Daddy. Nice work, Bone Daddy. So we went from like the end of the movie to the beginning of the movie. Very quickly, I might say, very quickly. So I'm just gonna, again, just kind of start with like the packing it where I would like it and then just kind of working it into the crease area. Again, the shade is very pigmented. Um, I will say though, it is kind of just not really blending the best. It's just kind of patchy. Um, but this is like a really dark purple and purples can be harder to formulate. But it is really pigmented. It's just definitely one where I'm just gonna have to kind of really work with it. Work with blending a little bit more than I did with the previous shade, which is fine. So it definitely did take a little bit of like working and blending. Um, it also took like using the original brush for the first transition tone to kind of help blend out as well. So if you're wanting to use that shade, make sure that you're mindful of that. You may want to start like uh, applying it really lightly and working with it. Just kind of whatever the case may be, how whatever your preference is, just know you may have to spend some time really blending it. So the next shade for the outer corner, I'm gonna go into the shade right here called Ooze which is kind of like this really dark, pretty, like blue, green, teal type of a shade. And this is just going to be on the outer portion of my eye. I'm not gonna take any of it into the crease, anything like that. I'm just gonna work on tapping it on and then blending it to get that color. I think that's really pretty to go with those, those purples. But of course, if you just want to do just using the blues or just using the purples, absolutely. But if you want to change it up a little bit on the purples, the shade ooze is perfect for like the outer portion or just to add kind of anywhere. I'm just going to go ahead and drag a little bit over on to the lid. That'll kind of create a really good base for the shimmers. And then also I can be a little bit more messy with blending and stamping as well. So to move on into the lid, I want to go on into this shade right here called the Mausoleum. I think that'll be cute. And I'll just take some on a clean brush, no setting spray, nothing. It seems like it is picking up pretty nicely with the brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start. And I put on a NYX glitter glue underneath. The shimmer on the lid so everything can stick it 
so this is what we've got going for the eyes thus far. Here's where my issue is going to really lie with this look is that with this palette you have like this burnt orange liner and I'm just trying to figure out where I think this would go because I can't think of anywhere. I may have to try it in like the waterline because I would not use this on the top. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go off camera, do a good portion of my face so we can come back so we can work on the lower lash line, the highlighter, and then see where we can put that gel liner. So I will go ahead and I will be right back. We are making our way through doing makeup. Um, so let's go ahead, let's dive on into, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start by trying to put this into my waterline. I don't know again how well this is going to go. I'm hoping it's going to go okay. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on a liner type brush and I'm just going to work on putting this to the waterline, very pigmented. Cute, okay, so it is really pigmented. But I just don't know quite yet how well I'm going to love this with this look. It may not go as well as I'm hoping. But I do really enjoy how pigmented this is. Um, how pigmented this is and how well it just like really like snags into the waterline without having to go into it like a bunch of times. I really, so far I really like this. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go right onto this highlighter. See how pretty that is? It's like a gold and it has like a pink and like an orangish kind of shift. It's really, really pretty. This is a very glittery highlighter though. So if you are somebody who doesn't really like glittery highlighters, like you like highlighters, you just don't want them to be glittery or you don't really care for ones that have like a shift to it. I don't necessarily know that this is going to be the highlighter for you. Um, also, if you have really light skin tones, such as I do, I don't know, again, this will be the highlighter for you, because I don't know if this is going to be too dark. I think this might be too dark. I think it might be. Mm. It's not necessarily too dark. But it's definitely not one where if I didn't have like a deeper blush for it to kind of mix into that I would use this by itself. So just to be mindful if you have a light skin tone, like extremely, extremely, extremely pale skin tone, that this might not be quite the highlighter for you um, unless you have like a really deep like blush that you could put in, put into it with. You could mix it in with. You could mix it in with. Wow. Oof. We got there. It's fine. We got there. Okay, so now that I think my eyes are done watering for now anyways, we're going to go ahead and we're going to dive on into the lower lash line. I'm going to start with like a little pencil brush and then I'm going to start with, I think I'm going to switch it up a little bit maybe. I think I'm going to start with the shade Ragdoll, which is going to be like the light blue. And I want to start smoking that out on the lower lash line. Just to try to use as many colors as we can. May not go together. May not look the best. But I'm okay with testing out the waters. I think that's a really pretty blue. I'm then gonna go into the shade Shriek, which is the next darkest blue shade. Okay, this one does not pick up or blend out as well as the others. There we go, again a little bit there. And then last for like the outer portion, I'll go into the Mayer, which is not the darkest, but it's not the lightest of the purples either. It's just like that medium. And we're just going to see what happens when we... I don't know. Hmm. This one may have to be like really built up. So then the last is going to be the inner corner. 
there's not really a lot of inner corners that like I'm just like blown away by but I guess we'll try this shade right here which is Oogie Boogie which is very fitting and we'll take that on a little brush and I'm just going to work on putting that right here in the inner corner Ooh, that is really pretty I I'm not gonna lie I really like that wow I don't know what I was expecting wasn't that and then kind of just like bring it up a little bit and marry it into just like the inner corner part I am not gonna lie I'm a little bit more obsessed with this look than I thought I was going to be originally um I love this like so much more oh, I've got a piece of hair in my hair I was shredding paper earlier <laughs> anyways clearly I made a mess but all right so we've got this going on I'm gonna go finish off the rest of my look off of camera so we can come back to do the final results so here is the completed and final look kind of testing out and playing around with the melt Halloween Town collection so let's go ahead and let's talk about what I think of this whole entire collection with each individual parts. So we're going to go ahead again. I did not get all of the collection. I was real late to the game. I was real late to the game, but I did see that they are coming out with another um, palette lip option. So I'm hoping to get those as well so I can do a review on those. But let's go ahead and let's talk about this highlighter. I love the packaging. I think it is so cute, so stunning. They really killed it on the packaging with these. Um, on the inside, you have this really pretty um, like Jack and Sally at the end with like little like hearts above them. The one thing about this though is that it is like a gold, it shifts pink and kind of orange. If you don't like shifty highlighters, you're not gonna like this because it is very much shifty. If you don't like really glittery highlighters, this is not gonna be the highlighter for you. And if you have like a really light skin tone and you're nervous and might be a little bit dark, it could be a tad bit too dark for you. So make sure you keep all of that in mind when you're thinking about if you would wanna pick this up from the collection, if you wanna get on Macari and see if it's available, whatever the case may be. Um, last I checked, the items that I have all of them were available and in stock on Milk Cosmetics website. Um, I don't know if they just like randomly found some more products or what the case may be, but they definitely are available. Overall, I think if you do like those components or you have a little bit of a deeper skin tone, you're really gonna like this. Minus those three components, if this is something that you're into, you like any of those three things, you might really like this, or you might just like it just to keep for like a, I really love the Nightmare Before Christmas, I love makeup, I love that there's a collage between them, you might enjoy this as well. The next is going to be the, oh, you know what? I've already lost it. Just kidding. It's right here. I thought I lost it. It's going to be this. This was probably, I don't know. I think it like turned out fine where it was. I don't necessarily know that this was my favorite color in terms to pick with the palette option. I think, I don't know, just like a different color, like a black or maybe like a really dark navy blue could have been like really pretty to go with this or like a blue because this has Sally's like body parts on it. Maybe like a blue that looks like Sally, I think could have been like really, really cute. The orange did kind of like throw me off because I wouldn't use this for um, like my liner for like my lashes or anything like that. This is definitely something I would use in my waterline only. And I'm glad that it did work out with this, but this definitely isn't the color that I would be picking. But I do love that it is really, really pigmented. It stays on the waterline really well and it glides into the waterline really well without any issues. Unless you poke yourself in the eye, which I did myself. But then again, that's a you problem, not an it problem. You know, neither here nor there, I guess. Um, then I think you're really going to like that. I think it would be really good if you like to do like designs on your eyes and you like to use like eyeliners like this to do that. I think that this would be great. For me personally, I probably am not going to get like a ton of use out of this. Um, I don't really use a lot of orange even um, on like looks that I do. Um, a lot of times I might do more of like a brown or a black or like a charcoal gray or maybe even like a, a beige or a white in my waterline. I don't necessarily go for a lot of ton a lot of fun crazy colors hold on is what i just said made sense i didn't i don't usually go for like a ton of crazy crazy colors eyeliner wise i just don't i made a video talking about things i'm not really going to purchase a whole lot in, of anymore and that was one of those but this was such a cute collection i really wanted to get one of these and so i did 
Okay, all right. Then the last thing for the things that I got is going to be this, um, the palette, which I really love, like how it's like oogie boogie on the front and it changes what he does. Um, and then the back is really cute too. I didn't notice this at first, but like, wasn't it terrifying? And like, it's really, it, this, the packaging is really well done, I will say. And it almost kind of reminds me, I don't know if you can tell, do you see like the grooves in it? Almost like a tree because right, like you enter Halloween town through like this tree and you enter Christmas town through these trees. So I thought that was a really good like attention to detail. I really like how you open it up. You have all of these ghosts and you've got like a, a skulls and you've got the mayor and you've, you've got tombstones. Like, there's just so much like going on on the palette. I think it's really good. Uh, the mirror is a really nice mirror. Honestly, it's really nice, really big. Um, and then I really thought that the mats performed really well. The shimmers performed really well as well. I will say, though, if you do have a melt palette, be careful when using fingers or setting sprays. Um, you may not have any issues with their palettes. I did, and I was just really sad about it. But so I just wanted to like let other people know. But if you don't have any issues with them, totally fine. But I thought that the color story was really nice. It really went well together. You could mix and match like I did. You could just use something that's really monochromatic. I like how like even though you have something that's monochromatic, you still have like a blue shimmer to go with it. You have a purple shimmer. But then you have two over here in case you just kind of want to spice it up, add something different, do something different. You can mix the shades, whatever the case may be. I thought this was a really fun, really well done palette. The attention to detail was really, really everything and epic in this palette. But overall, I really, really enjoyed this collection. Let me know if you've picked up this collection down below. Have you used it? Are you enjoying it? Is it a collection that now that you may not be able to get it, you're not really interested? Are you thinking about maybe picking up from Macari or eBay or Depop or whatever the other online selling of makeup is at? I don't, I don't know where that came from. I don't know. But let me know if you guys think about picking this up. What do you guys think of the color story? What do you guys think of the products all together? Let me know all of that down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the little bell if you enjoy makeup, makeup type products, or book type content. This is definitely going to be the channel for you. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.